you know, one of the bigger things that I really enjoy about the friends I make IRL are the connections that go with it, that build up the friendships and sometimes relationships within. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So later today you're going to be seeing a video who I end up featuring one of my closer friends who I had made in the recent months. Became pretty close pretty quickly. Not along with her roommate as well. But anyway, I digress. I became very close to both of them and I, cons I consider them very highly. Um, but either way around, while hanging out, um, with the friend that I was referring to, Amber, I, one of the things that came to my mind is how we got to the point where we were. And the interesting thing that I've always found about myself, at least, is that Regardless of the person, I have always found that the friends I make have a lot of things in common with me. And the only time I ever, apart from being friends with them, is when I find certain aspects about them that are the complete opposite. That are the opposite of what I thought to a drastic degree, and it bothers me when I hit that point. I've met so many people over the years. As of the date of this recording, I had, I am 27 years old as of 13 days ago, as of the date of this recording. By the time you guys see this, it'll be more than that. By the time this is uploaded, it'll be more. But one thing's for certain. One thing that I've learned over the years is that aside from the obvious people are not what they seem, there's more to it. Even after they show that what they appear to be is what they... that they are what they seem to be, there always is that little hidden part of someone that someone refuses to reveal and whenever I find out that that part is something that really goes against how I feel it's destructive and the friends that I have made recently I feel like they're the first in a very very long time that I have made who weren't like that. And it's something that's very humbling to me. Something that the more I think about it, the more my body is trying to push me to cry. I'm not much of a crier, but friends like this are very important. Whether it's a relationship like boyfriend girlfriend or family member or somebody who's like a brother or sister to you or someone who's just like a really close friend like a best friend BFF if you will like oh my gosh but regardless of title one thing still matters in my mind more than anything else that's interpretation of how present themselves. It can be damaging if misinterpreted and rewound. If that makes sense. This is something that I've experienced way too much. Far too much. To the point where I have had I and I've talked about what I'm about to say bef uh, before but I had had a wallop for a very long time. Until recently. I'm keeping an open mind and an open heart at this point. 
And recently, within the past few months, that's been benefiting me more than anything else. I've helped those who are hurt. I've walked with those and spoke with those who needed the kind of guidance or just someone to talk to. And in turn, all I've ever asked is the same. For the first time in a very, very long time, that's what I've been getting. And it's very humbling to me. And I know this video might seem a bit cheesy, and I apologize for that, but the friends that I have recently made are... They mean more to me than so anyone else I've ever met before. I can't lose it, them, this time. For, the, for a long time, prior to the beginning of this year, I felt like if that ever happened, I would be screwed. But then I met the two women that I met. And I found out I was wrong. For me, there was some kind of hope. Even if it wasn't through these two women specifically, or if it was down a specific type of path. Regardless, I... I feel like something is trying to tell me that there is that kind of hope for me. Through who, I have no idea, but... These type of friends are the thing I need to push myself. Because I've found that my purpose, specifically in life, is just to help others. Give others joy and happiness. Not myself. Subside myself and keep an open mind and heart for other people. Other individuals. It's a tedious task. But to me... With people like the friends I just had recently made, the close friends I had recently made, for people like that, I'd say it's worth it. Those are my thoughts on the matter. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below what your opinion on this kind of thing is. Um, I also do appreciate the fact that you guys watched this video. Um, please try to make sure to check. If you like... Uh, the gaming kind of content or comedic stuff, please try to make sure the upcoming video later on today where I, one of the friends I made, Amber Ball, uh, is featured on this channel. And I do have other people planned to feature on the channel in the future and revisit some others who have already been featured who I'm going to re-feature on the channel. So definitely look forward to seeing more people on this platform other than just me. Whether today, as I just said, or those in the near future. In the meantime though, I'm going to head off. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Check the links on the side of my head if you want to check out anything else like this. If you enjoy life stuff, or consider subbing to the channel if you have not yet. In the meantime, once again, thanks again guys, and I hope to see you all in another video. Bye for now.